This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Abus Bordeaux X Plus 6500. This is the undisputed heavyweight champion of folding bike locks. If you've been watching my channel for the last several weeks, you've seen me break these types of locks with a pocket size tool, an open-ended nut splitter. As the name suggests, this tool is designed for splitting nuts that are seized onto bolts. It's a really simple tool consisting of a hardened steel wedge and a small screw press. It also happens to be a devastatingly effective tool in opening these types of folding locks. All you do is put this little wedge in between two of these steel plates, then tighten the screw press until the rivet is cut in half or broken. Ever since I first showed this inherent weakness in the design, I've been receiving messages and comments asking that I test this lock, the Bordeaux 6500. Unfortunately, it's a very expensive lock, usually selling online for about $150 to $180, so I didn't rush out to buy one. However, I was able to find this one on eBay without a key for $20, so now we get to see just how good it is. Now, what makes this lock so much better? Well, first, we have the Abus X Plus Core, which is very pick resistant. Next, we have the size of this. This lock absolutely dwarfs some of its competitors. If you look at it next to this OnGuard K9, you can see that the difference is not subtle. And in fact, I put both of these on the scale and the Abus weighs over three times more. The other big difference is the presence of a hardened ring that protects the rivet on this lock. If we look at this from the angle with this plastic cut off, you can see that ring in between the two plates. Now I think we can probably work around that, however we won't know until we try it out. So let's take all this to the garage and see if the nut splitter is up to the task. I'll be honest, this Abus is a very beefy lock and it is entirely plausible that we break the nut splitter instead of the lock today. If however we are able to open this lock, then I really doubt any folding bike lock is safe from this exploit. Okay, we're out in the garage. I have the lock secured in the vise. So our first job is to position the nut splitter such that this hardened wedge is in between two of these plates. It's a little bit more complex a job than it might be on any other lock like this because we do have to avoid that hardened ring that protects the rivet. But fortunately, we should just be able to position that wedge where it's in between the ring and one of the plates. I'm hand tightening it, and then I'm going to check to make sure I have this positioned correctly. Okay, I think I have it in the right position. So let's start tightening this down with the ratchet. Okay, I'm going to check one more time to make sure that ring is not getting in our way. Okay, it does look like we're in the proper position. So let's tighten this down until either the nut splitter or the lock breaks.
Okay, as you saw, we were successful in breaking the links apart. However, there was a casualty. The swinging arm of the bike lock unplugged my microphone cable, so we lost the last few minutes of the video. However, I looked around the garage and found some of the parts that went flying. Here we have the hardened ring that protects the rivet. You can see it compressed just a little bit, but did not fail. Then we have half of the rivet. And it's interesting because if you look at it, I don't think the blade of the nut splitter ever touched it. Rather, I think the wedge of the blade simply forced the two metal plates apart, which stretched the rivet until it could stretch no more, at which point it failed. As for the nut splitter itself, it seemed to have fared pretty well in this test. If we look carefully, you can see a small dent in the blade. However, I believe that was from a pass test on the master lock street cuff. So there is no new damage that I can see to this. So folks, this Abus Bordeaux X Plus 6500 is the beefiest of the folding bike locks that I know of. And after seeing this test, I have to question whether there is any folding bike lock that is safe from this exploit. That's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.